Hi, this is the chapter one outline for behavioral neuroscience for section, segment one. Section one is the brain is full of surprises. The brain has given us the ability to comprehend vast amounts of information and tasks. Inside the brain are 86 billion nerve cells or neurons. Neurons are the basic units of the nervous system. Neurons make contact with many other cells at points called synapses. A specialized extension of neurons called axons produce the electrical impulses. Section two is what is behavioral neuroscience? Neuroscience is the study of the brain. Back in the 1800s, at one time, it was an extension of psychology known as biological psychology. Now research has evolved so much that behavioral neuroscience is an even better description of neuro. It is used to understand the neuroscience behind behavior and experience. Behavioral neuroscience can be used in many different careers, including psychologists, biologists, physiologists, engineers, neurologists, psychiatrists, and many more. Section 3 is five viewpoints that explore the biology of behavior. Several different perspectives are needed to understand the neuroscience behind the basics of behavior. Each perspective is needed to complement all of the others. There are five major perspectives. The first one is description, and two subgroups of description are structural, which is finding basic patterns in behavior, and functional, which is how certain behaviors affect functions, like, for example, mating. Evolution is the other perspective. Uh, it is how species have acquired various behaviors through evolution. Uh, part of this is Charles Darwin's theory of evolution which includes two main points. One is how various species can either acquire a similar behavior from a common ancestor, or if they do not have a common ancestor, but have both acquired a similar behavior through convergent evolution. Conserved refers to a trait that is passed on to multiple descendants from a common ancestor. Uh, the other perspective is development which is how does a behavior change over a lifespan? For basically when someone, some, uh, something like a person or an animal gets older and matures. Ontogeny is how an individual changes over the course of its lifetime, grows up. It is important to understand when a species is mature enough to learn new tasks and how well they'll retain the knowledge they've learned. Uh, the fifth perspective is mechanism, which is which asks the question, what are the biological causes to the behavior? This involves the body mechanisms that make a particular behavior possible. For example, what hormones fuel uh, aggressive behavior, like how testosterone fuels aggressive behavior. Uh, the final perspective is application. Application is basically how to use the information gained from the other perspectives to improve mankind. This is how we research is used to help treat various malfunctions of the brain.